What is up you guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm Tony Fuentes and today I'm going to show you how to properly color grade with LUX. Now if you want a more in-depth editing tutorial for color grading in Premiere Pro step by step, I've already done a video, I'll link it up here in the cards if you want to go check it out. But in this case we're going to make emphasis on color grading with LUX. Now in social media there's a misconception regarding using LUX that with one click you can achieve perfect results. Now that's not the case guys. LUTs are just a tool to help you color grade in a better manner and yes they speed up your process but in no way is a one click edit. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you how to color grade using LUTs. Okay so we have these clips which are shot in a flat picture profile, all of them. The first thing that you want to do when you want to color grade using LUTs is correctly white balance and expose your image. So that's the first step when you're color grading with or without using LUTs. You first have to correct your image. So these images are taken with a flat picture profile. So for that, we're gonna use the Luma scopes and in this case, the Luma waveform. So if you don't see the Luma tree scopes, you can always go down to window and select Luma scopes over here, right click it and select the waveform from Luma. And what this graphic basically tells us is the overall exposure of the image that we're looking. So in this case, here we can see how everything alters as the image moves. And what it represents is at zero, we have underexposed, basically the blacks, and at 100, we have the whites. So the first thing that we want to do before applying a lot is correcting the white balance. Now the white balance is very easy to correct. Basically, we can select this selector or the eyedropper tool and select anything on our image, which is white. So in this case, I know this part of the camera is shiny, always tending towards the white so it shouldn't have any tones any yellow tones or any blue tones so that's going to be our basis i'm just going to select it and as we can see automatically premiere pro corrects the tint and the temperature to correctly white balance the whole image next up we need to achieve a correct exposure and a correct contrast on our image now this was shot in a flat picture profile meaning that the blacks are raised and the highlights are dimmed down so what we want to achieve is by moving the whites blacks shadows and highlights that our lumetry scopes over here, the Luma waveform, is correctly exposed with something hitting the zeros and something hitting the 100s. So in this case, I'm just gonna drag the blacks down and as we can see, the Luma scopes or the waveform starts to pull down until something on our image reaches the blacks. That meaning that we've reached a correct and pure black point on our image. Next up, I'm gonna move the whites up until something reaches the 100 and that's gonna be these parts of the image which are overexposed. And then finally after that, we just need to saturate the image once again. Again, this was shot in a flat picture profile. So I'm just gonna saturate with a 140%. And yeah, this image now is correctly exposed and, and be flattened if you like. Now we can apply our preset or our LUT. Now here in basic corrections, we have this option, which says import LUT, but we're not gonna import it there, guys. Here goes the LUTs that correct the picture profiles of each camera. So for example, if you shot in C-Log in Canon, you can go over to the Canon website and download the Canon C-Log correction LUT. And that will do all these automatic corrections that we just did automatically, guys. And also for Nikon, Sony, you can find the picture profiles and the LUTs that correct them in their websites. But now when we're talking about creative LUTs to achieve a certain look, we're gonna go to the creative tab over here. And here in look where it says none, you can select and drag in each of your LUTs that you want to apply. Now, this is where I have a big problem with all the LUTs that are circulating on the internet. Basically, what people do is just create an edit with the basic correction and everything like that, and then they save it as a LUT and they try to sell you their complete correction. The problem with that, guys, is that they're saving their basic corrections with which alter the overall exposure of your image. So even the LUTs that come by default in Premiere Pro are not correctly made. They're basically just trash. You can see that if you click on one, everything alters, and the exposure alters, the color grading alters, and it looks like garbage. So that's not what you want, guys. The LUTs that you're looking for are the ones that only alter the color grading process not the overall exposure and don't alter the basic correction. So that's the problem with all these LUTs that we can see here. They basically alter the color grading plus the overall exposure and contrast uh, resulting in some garbage image, some garbage footage. You can't use this at all. So basically what the LUT is accelerating is a process of editing over here in the tone curves to achieve a correct or a special look. That's what the LUT is correcting. It's not correcting the basic corrections. It shouldn't because that will depend on each image and it will vary depending on the situation and it won't correct the HSO secondary or the color wheels or anything like that, just the tone curves. So for that manner, we're gonna apply one of my presets or one of my LUTs that I have created, which are emphasized in having correct skin tones. Now the skin tones here are maybe altered just a little bit, but we don't see any craziness 
in the color grading and in the exposure there's not many variants so in this case we can scroll through my LUTs and I'm gonna select maybe Dolomites and in Dolomites here we can see the effect it's already been applied we can click on and off the created tab to see what it's done and it doesn't alter really the skin tones or the overall exposure of our clip it just alters the colors to a more specific look now if you want the look to be more intense you can always move the intensity tab up and down to have a little a more saturation and more contrast or you can move it down for a more subtle effect now after applying the lot i always suggest going back to the basic corrections and then altering maybe the exposure or the contrast and maybe the temperature if you want it to be more warm or more cold so here if we want a more contrasty image we can just move the contrast up if you want a more faded look you, could, you can always go down with the contrast and just achieve this faded look effect so that's basically how i apply LUTs after that you can always continue with HSL secondary to isolate certain parts of your image and color grade them independently add some gradients and some masks anything like that anything that you want to make your editing process more complete so let's quickly do another one again remember the first thing that we want to do is color correct our image so i'm just going to select the white balancing tool over here and correctly expose the white balancing of our image and then with help with the luma waveform we can correctly expose our image and contrast so i'm just going to pull down the blacks once again pull down the whites in this case i'm going to pull up just a bit of the highlights just like that and return a bit of the saturation with 140 percent and then you go to apply your preset or your look so in this case maybe i'm going to apply memphis and overall but just like that i'm happy with this edit then i would go on and maybe add some gradients or some masking tools to isolate more of the subject but basically that's the foundation on how to edit with lots now let's say you have several clips that you want to apply the same lot or maybe to an entire project and an easy way to do this is just to go all the way down to the project once again and you're going to go all the way down here select new item and create an adjustment layer now adjustment layers uh, basically alter everything that's beneath it so you can drag it on top of your clips and then expand it to whatever clips that you want so basically everything that we do to this adjustment layer will affect everything below so even though you're applying a lot to your clips on top of them remember to correct them each of them individually because probably they're shot in different scenarios so once we've returned our contrast and correctly exposed and saturated our clips each of them individually then we can select our adjustment layer go the way down to creative and then look select our lot that we want to apply and in this case i applied baltic which is a very contrasty one very moody that applies a lot of harsh shadows and a bit of contrast without losing the correct exposure in the skin tones so that's basically how we can apply a lot to several clips at the same time so that's my quick explanation on to how to color grade with LUTs guys how to properly do it and remember you need the proper or the correct LUT some of the LUTs that they're selling out there are completely trash they basically just make your footage look like garbage and you have to desaturate them and then compensate the skin tones and it's a lot of work basically what you're looking for is professional LUTs that don't alter the skin tones and don't mess with the basic corrections so remember LUTs aren't a tool that will edit for you. They're basically just a tool to add to your color grading process and to make it a lot easier and to achieve specific looks. So that's about it guys. Remember that the LUTs that I've used in this video, I've linked them down below. If you wanna go check it out, I've created them so they don't alter the skin tones and they achieve a very specific look without messing with the overall exposure and ruining your clips. So if you want to go check it out, the link down below, that's a way you can support me. I'll be very thankful if you can support me in any manner. But if you did like the video, can you please give it a like? It really makes a difference and consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload the next video. I'm Tony Fuentes. Cheers to all of you. See you in the next one.